Hello, Goranges are on view yet again, this time for our sale on the 27th of March. So we've had a bit of a flurry with the fine sale and the Monday sale before that was a bit of a boomer. Um, so this sale, what's it got for us? Well, some interesting things. We're gonna play what's in the warehouse because we haven't <laughs> done that for a while. Um, if you fancy standing in the middle of a cage, Lot 148 might suit you, otherwise you can put it around a tree. This uh, rather good garden bench and really nice, you know, often the wrought iron comes in and it needs repainting or it's a bit rusty and what have you. But this one is absolutely ready to go. Uh, lot 148. Mm. Um, carrying on down, let's go and have a look. I'll walk backwards. Don't trip. Um, now, one of the things that's a feature of this sale is a complete container full of Chinese furniture that uh, somebody got in touch, spoke to David, he said, yeah, no problem, we'll send the van down, and we weren't sure what we were gonna get. You know, Chinese furniture can be good, can be bad, but this is a rather useful lot. Um, now, it will become self-evident which ones are there, but passing by, this catches my eye, lot 40. Rather deep seat on it, perhaps, but nice color to that bench. Mm. Uh, and we often do large things, but how about something dinky for the kitchen, you know, a nice plate rack there. Yes, that's in nice. In pine, mm. lot 38. There's, this has a good colour, lot color. five, yeah. and character, doesn't it? It does, Interestingly, it's really nice. sort of inset, um, probably a marriage, but still, the colour all works and it's got a good look. And look at that lovely sort of wear inside of the rubbed paintwork and things, that's nice. It's like old glass smart, as well. long case clock here. This is Charles Bright of London, and it's, it's a good, you know, lovely mahogany case, good silver dial, eight day movement, subsidiary seconds, date aperture, now, it went into a cottage one day oh, and it no. didn't quite fit, so they got the <laughs> saw out and just chopped the top off. But actually, and I was speaking to the vendor about this, if you removed everything above there and oh, just yes. kept it down to here, it would look rather good again, wouldn't it? It would, but it wouldn't have a top. Well, it would be the top. That would be the top. But it would be, okay. This could be added on anyway. Right. It's mm. a brilliant idea. Don't, That's don't marvellous, yes. It's not six, marvellous idea. Yes. Uh, carrying on then. What's that, a baby uh, rocker? A baby rocker, <laughs> otherwise known as a cradle. Yes, it's it, a strange no, shaped it's baby. Not, no. Very elongated legs that baby yes. would have. But it is, look, it's a rocker. What else do you rock like that? Well, oh, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, I don't know. It's foreign baby. Mm. It's, it looks to me like it's European. A couple of mirrors. That's Baltic or Scandinavian. Yes, nice embossed brass mirrors there. Yep. Bit of a curious sort of oak cupboardy thing there that again so looks thing, slightly married. It? it looks like the base of a press cupboard that's had a mule chest um, introduced to it. Mm. Um, but still, something different. Nice colour to that chest. Here we go, a bit of Chinese furniture, lot 31. This sort of bench seat. Looks to dates around about 1900 or thereabouts. Nice red lacquered finish with some gilt work inside. Not too big, perhaps a little deep for some. Further, lots and lots of occasional tables, ranging from this relatively modern side table uh, to things like this one, it's rather lovely, scrolled table, lot 62. Look at that, got some character to it, hasn't it? Mm, yeah. What's and the finish? Why has it got that finish on it? Well, it was a sort of lacquered finish that is now... Aged. Slightly knackered. Yes. Um, yes, it's <laughs> aged, that's the lacquered, word for it. Lacquered, knackered. It's aged. That's oh, nice. Uh, Mid-century, still going strong, even if the label doesn't stay attached. This teak chest of drawers is lot 16. Next to it, a pair of uh, rather funky Danish teak um, occasional tables with, um, there we go, we've got the stamp underneath, Mobelf Abriken of Tofton. And yes, a pair of them with the tile inset tops. That's what the young people want these days. Lot 17. More garden furniture, of course. Of Still course. getting the garden furniture. Yes. Did see the prices lift a little bit, didn't we, last week? Yes, and then it started raining again. Yes, I know. Don't be pessimistic like that. It's going to be fine. <laughs> I like this, look, from the Chinese furniture again. Oh. Even got a label on it saying it was at Clevedon Cell Rooms, but it's not anymore, it's at Gorringer's Cell Rooms. Now, yeah. look, 113, nice Chinese lantern. Gosh, Plenty this... of marble-topped occasional tables. Take your pick They're really as are. to um, which one is for you, but there's a good selection of them. Hmm. And they just keep coming. They do, Including the they? miniatures <laughs> that's, that's and lovely. vase stands. It's rather nice, isn't it? Yes, good yes. One, one ten. Yeah. So there we go, good lot of Chinese. There's a big bed coming, but they're going to play Meccano and put it together, put it together before aren't they? offering it for sale. And Great. as you can see, there's lots of bits and pieces there to have to work out. So uh, that will be coming up in due course as an opium type bed. Um, otherwise, what have we got? Painted trunks, George III chest of drawers, mixed lot of garden pots. 
found a chest of drawers, a press cupboard. Paul said this, this was once rather nice, but perhaps has had a, a hard life and needs a bit of care and attention to put it back together. You've got the wardrobe this side. I wasn't side. expecting that, that's great. Yeah, so what's great? The, oh, the, the dummies, yeah, yes. it's fun. And then, so yeah. there you are, you open it up. There's your sort of hat box down the bottom. Hanging space up top with the traditional front to back rail. Right. And then in here a press, but nice with these recessed drawers. Look at those. Lovely handles. Yes. Nice to see a, a, a curve rather than the, the sort of squared shape. So, nice. yeah, nice thing that. Uh, that is lot number 136. Mm. A few um, rugs. Always a few rugs. Yeah. I like the look. There's a big long key limb over the other side there. Oh, lovely. Um, that uh, is unusually large. More wardrobes. I'll tell you the number. Lot 50. Oh okay. gosh, look at that. That's quite a whopper, isn't it? It is a whopper. It's lovely colours. So, and finally, last but not least, because I did like the look of this, oh, 149. Yes. This uh, hardwood bench seat, again, just a nice look to it. So Good pretty. decorative back. Mm. Um, so there we go, nice selection in the warehouse. Yeah. Uh, worth coming and having a look at, and we're going to look at the smalls. So here we are in the main sale room. A couple of weeks ago, we had a mixed lot of about oh, 10 or so Indian reverse painted glass panels. Came in at, I know, a couple of hundred quid from Jobber Joe's. They sold for about a thousand pounds. And the vendor has found more of them. <laughs> 673. There we go. That's me doing the yoga. Perhaps not. <laughs> not a big fellow, is he? Um, <laughs> Further others in the lots, that's lot 673. 672 has been picked out on its own, the single one there, which is not on glass. And then uh, here we are again, 671. There's another, they're very decorative, aren't they? They are. And they're of age, as we say. They're not new by any means, they, they've got age to them. So yeah, interesting mixture there of Indian panels uh, in those three lots. There's one other lot scattered elsewhere. This is rather jazzy, isn't it? It's very suave. In the manner of Tamara de Lempica, ah. that very sort of Art Deco look, lot 675, probably not a great age, it's a copy, but it's nicely done. Um, otherwise, what have we got for you uh, this week? Yes, little chair there, 444. You probably won't, but I like the tree and the person just sitting underneath. Yeah, I was working on that. I've still got to put an artist's name to that. As, as the actually, same with the, the other one, one next to it, next that's one, right. 666 is lovely. Yes, too. that's it. Mm. Um, so yes, working on those as we speak. Oh, but how cool. about a ticket machine? <laughs> there we go, a yes. fun French one by the looks of things. Quite pretty colour. Yes, uh, now there's old crunchy roses, we're going to focus on that elsewhere. Again, good mixture of art, these are rather good, look, 433 and 431, these um, Scottish Dirks with the, the additional side implements. Um, let's see if you can say that's come out. There we go. Yeah. There's your little knife and fork. Mm. Um, you're making unimpressed no, no, no. noises. No, They've lost thinking, their kengorm, sadly. I, I was thinking about our friend Michael Murray. Oh, yes. That, uh, his birthday's coming up. He'd like one of these. Yeah. Uh, would he like one of these? <laughs> these are unusual, aren't they? Oh, They're um, made of. Um, Gosh, she looks horrified. Of wood. The lady. Yes. They're rather exotic looking things. Mm. Um, further down, you see lots of this, everyone sees lots of this. Uh, Royal Albert Old Country Roses pattern tea set. Um, they must have produced thousands of the pieces. It's a proper sort of granny tea set, isn't it? Yeah. It fluctuates up and down in fashion. And it was so popular that they made sort of matching table mats. But what does it for me is look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. If you, you, the old country well, we roses. Can put that on your telephone. Desk. Look at that, Hilly. Hello, gorgeous. Yes, Lewis123. Yes, <laughs> great. Look at that. Amazing. Mm. Old country roses telephone. You've seen it all here. Yes. Um, so that's rather fun. Um, where else would you like to go? I'm, well, I, I'm just taking it all here? in. Yes. You're just taking it all in. Yes. Well, there's look, a nice, nice lot. WMF type mm. mirror. I don't think it's period. WMF period, but we'll see. Um, carrying along. Lots of these Eric Gill woodcuts taken from a book. Lot 694 is one of them. Um, there are others coming up. Selection of glasses, drinking glasses in the sale. Mm. Uh, you make that uh, noise. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'm taking yeah. it in. I'm taking okay. it in. Yeah. Teddies. And there's, yes. there's more sticks with sticks over the other side as well. This one's got, um, I don't know whether it's a some form of a bird, it's quite exotic. Yeah, there we go, that's got an exotic bird head. There are some with dog's heads coming up. That's uh, 375. That, I've just past those, yeah. Um, yeah, more of the gills here. Um, 
There we go, there's a woman in bath, that yes, one. Yes, that's quite nice. Very striking thing, aren't they? Yeah. Yes, nice. And what are these? The drain things? They're cast iron things. So they look to me to be some sort of bracket. Mm. As you say, they could be a foot. Look, they're drilled with a hole. Ah, okay. And I guess three of them could provide three corner feet. Yes. And oh, something, okay. something was mounted upon them. That's lot mm. 380. Yeah. Uh, down the end here, always popular again, this is Herend, lot 526, a, a fair part service with two, four, six, eight larger plates, a middle size and various other bits. Lady and gentleman had it as a wedding present and said they never used it because the pieces were too small. Yes. For practical use. Mm, uh, fair you enough. like those, 421. Yes, yeah. A pair of lamps, they're not cut glass, they're moulded well, glass. Well, I still think they look um, very With these rather lovely ornate. shades, yes, lot they're... 421, they're good. Yeah, they are good. So let's pop round the other side. Those are nice. What a 414. nice. 414. 414, they're Chinese, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Again, I don't think they have huge age to them. Well, I don't care, they just look really nice. There we go, With that, that's it's all that matters. It's not about the age. No, it's not, is it? Look, nice toilet box there, just yeah. drifting by, lot 415. Mm. Mm, yes. Gosh, what's that? What's I that? refuse to tell you. It's some sort of printing press, I think. Oh, You'll find. Look, you put it there, well, and you put your fingers in, and you shut it, and, and it's it? good. 411. That's got some age. It has been. It's been with us for a long time, because it's quite hard to, um, <laughs> to, to reduce cast iron of that, of that ilk. Right, going round. So, going round. Oh, here we go. Here's a better. Here's another gill. It's called the harem. Yeah, they're great. That's up, doesn't it? Um, then. How about these? What are they? Uh, Just like the antiques are they, are they putting salt in? Are they putting tea lights in? Yeah. Are do they you know? Early penny licks. <laughs> do I know? Yeah, do you know? No, I'm just going to make it up. Okay. Um, they're furniture rests. No. Stand furniture on. Really? Yes, I believe so. Like 313. Gosh, they're very oh, old decorative. What does it say? 313. Glass weights and dumps, it says. 18 uh, of them. But they're not really weights and dumps because they are actually designed for that purpose, is my belief. Hmm. Lot 313, they're a re offer. Oh, this caught my eye. Lovely finish to it. Chinese, look at that. Definitely. Rather pleasing glaze. Lot hmm. 360. Is this Clarice Cliff? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Crocus pattern, probably the most common pattern. Lovely colours. But uh, still, nicely done. Yes. 361, a fair amount of it. Actual sort of part tea service there. Sportsky crystal bud lots of things. Rather nice Stourbridge type rock crystal, but unfortunately broken on that one. Batman comics. More wine. More wine, as ever. Then I thought these looked rather good. 298 Chinese, rather large pair of planters. We've got any markings? No. Did they sit on stands? Probably not. But appealing decoration, nice colourway. Great colourway. Yeah, good those. Yeah, those are Sitting nice. Sitting next to a nice big Weems roses pattern jug. I can't really pay attention to that because what's next is... Uh, it's, it's catching your eyes. It, it really yes. is. I don't think I've ever seen anything well, quite like it. Your birthday is coming. <gasps> uh, lot 294. So these, this is continental porcelain. I'll have a look for a mark in a minute. Actually, um, the little flowers, the details. Yes, so isn't it? floral encrusted. Um, we have a... Monica. JP mark there, which means Jacob Petty, the French manufacturer of porcelain. Um, but people like Meissen did these as well. And they're sometimes called Schneeballen vases, <laughs> as in snowball vases, because ah. if, it's almost like they're encrusted with snowballs. Lot 294. Gosh. Distinctive item. Next to it, going on. Chinese bronze, arcade stick style. Those are very nice, aren't they? Lamps. Mm -hmm. and, then and a whole host of other goodies. What's what? Uh, 278. 278 is, is a thing. It's a thing. It's a, um, I think it's a piece of sculpture, to be honest. It looks a bit like the Garofalo. Wow. Um, it's not old. It's 278. It's sitting next to a nice pair of leather um, bins by Balmir. Lot 277. Balmir. Yeah, um, well, look at that, there's a pocket flask. We oh, get yes. lots of these, 2.58. Oh no, it's, it's back again. Every time I see this, I pick it up and sing its merits. And then I realise that it's been mounted onto a later base. Oh, what a work. shame. It's, it's quite all, a nice it's flask. It's show, it's lacking go. I quite like that. 
Do you like that? I think that's Chinese. That is lot 256. We certainly have plenty of Chinese going on, don't we? In we South? always do. Yes. I think we always do. Yes. More toddy lifters. We talked about these in the past, but here's some a variation in forms of, of toddy lifters and other vases. Some rather swishy bookends there. Yes, that spin. they are great. Yeah. They move. Um, I liked this. It's only in passing. 274. Look, it's got a nice crest upon it. Mm. Uh, generally, these glass rinses are not crested, so that's a nice touch. Mm. Sorry, okay. Yep. Yep. Should we look behind the counter? Yes, let's look. I'm going to stop. So down behind the counter, again, a good mix of silver, a number of lots here. Uh, picking out just a few bits for you, as we often do silver. 840 caught my eye. A That's nice little silver Vesta case mm. with this little enamel dot. How does one open it? You press the button and it pings open. It's sprung loaded lid. So a little bit different. Not wow, but different. Pretty. All sorts of other good silver underneath there. In behind the counter here. Other things, lovely little um, enamel box there, the gift of a friend, sort of Regency period, like the birdcage upon it, that's rather sweet. Mm. Does it have a mirror? Yes, it does, the original mirror, it's a patch box. It's lot 516. There are some Chinese jades, there are coins, including this 1895 Maundy set huh. in the original leather box, lot 511. Quite a hoard of different desk seals and little papier-mâché boxes. Oh, yes. Then I'll sit down here because otherwise I'll get in the way. Uh, what's that? You know what that is? No. Yeah. It's, it's four nine seven. It's a skirt lifter. No way. It is a skirt lifter. So one clips it onto one's skirt and attaches it to one's belt, and it lifts one's skirt out of the mud. Ah. Not a shirt lifter, but a skirt yes, lifter. I know. Before you say it, oh, I'll say yes, it for I was you. Thank you. Four ninety-seven. There well, we go. Great, great quiz we item. Are. Great bygone. Yes. Um, Five oh two. Look, here's a rummage lot. What do we get for our money? Well, there's a sort of Parian type bust of Apollo. He's not great, but he's there. A funny little enamel button. The smallest dictionary in the world, French English dictionary, in its metal case. Uh, another button. So we're getting a set together. Little Japanese box with some further miniatures in. Um, a needle case for gramophone needle. Oh no, that's a lady's razor. Ah, oh, it's a miniature. Look, there we go. Uh, then uh, there's a papier mache snuff box. I like this. Look at that. That's a scent oh, bottle. That's lovely, isn't it? Lovely. 19th century, sort of Palais Royal type, modelled as a pistol. Sort of whitish metal mounts as well as the gilt mounts. We get another miniature dictionary. It's Shakespeare, I think, in fact. One more button. So we're up to three. Huh. A plated pocket flask but at least it's all working unlike the one we did before yes. and last but not least the Victorian papier-mâché snuff box what a haul look Thanks, all man. in lot 502 hours wow. of fun to be yes. had uh, this has caught my eye what is it not 500 well it's got the olympic symbol on it has it is it olympics is it's, it yes it's the it's olympics the it's the nine i wish it's 1936 <laughs> um german olympics which of course was the significant one with um Jesse Owen and such, uh, lot 500. So there's a curiosity it, in a box that has a sort of Meissen mark on it. So lot 500 mm. could be interesting. Keep your eye on that. Yes. Watches, all sorts of collectible ceramics as ever. It's all here to behold. So come along and see us. Otherwise have a look online or just bid lots of money over the internet, whichever suits <laughs> you best. We look forward to your bids. Thank you.